It's nauseating. It's not pleasant at all. I haven't wanted to see any more of it. I saw enough the first day. It's something that you just kind of go around the corner and go, oh my gosh. I'm like, sickening. Something smells horribly fishy in Stockton, and it's coming from Brookside Lake. When I was out walking, I thought, what the heck? And then you see things floating, and then you know what it is. Residents along March Lane and St. Andrews Drive say hundreds of dead fish mysteriously began appearing in the water in the past week. And I know for a fact that there was a couple of uh, people that they did throw up from smelling that. But what is causing the fish to die? Was something poisoned? And who's in charge of handling it? I can't imagine what it is. Residents fear the worst. Is there an environmental thing going on? Is the river contaminating the lake? Or is something in the lake going to contaminate the river? KCRA3 reached out to the city and even the Department of Fish and Wildlife for answers, but that didn't seem to get us anywhere. We did get a hold of the Brookside Lake Homeowners Association. This year, everything hit at the same time with the hot weather and the spring fertilizing and the algae and so it depleted the oxygen more than normal and as a result we had a lot of fish that suffocated. When the algae dies it absorbs much of the oxygen in the water. Hubel says this is unusual but should not be considered a threat to the residents. Hundreds of fish dying is not a normal thing. During the whole drought, during the heat, the peak of the heat that we had before, this never happened. This is unusual, it's smelly, and you can see it, and I hope we can remedy it pretty quickly. Hubel says maintenance teams are currently monitoring the water's conditions and will continue efforts to remove the fish in the coming days and weeks. In Stockton, Josie Hart, KCRA 3 News. The Brookside Lake Homeowners Association says residents may still see some dead fish for some time. Many are likely trapped under decks in different parts of the lake. They said the best thing for people to do is to be mindful of what fertilizers and lawn products they are using and to continue calling their local management or homeowners associations with concerns and questions.